We're recording. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Donette Douglas, and I am the General Manager of WTJR right here in Quincy, Illinois. This program behind the scenes you're watching right now is recorded right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. I was watching the opening there, and it says this program lets you know what's happening here at your local Christian TV station right here in Quincy. And that excites me to think that we have a Christian television station. We have two uh, Christian radio stations right here. In fact, uh, one is, uh, has a production in the very same building. That's KJIR uh, 91.7 FM, uh, Southern Gospel Music. And then we have WGCA, The Mix at 88.5. And they are just a block a little over a block away to the south of us. So we're excited that we can all work together and uh, proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's exciting to me. I pray you get excited about it. And I know many of you do. You uh, uh, comment along as I'm out in public and uh, visiting other churches. And some of you send us notes, sometimes call on the phone, even email us and let us know how you're being blessed by the... Uh, programming here at WTJR. And I thank all of you that pray for us. So many tell me they pray for us each and every day. And we thank you for that because we need prayers. We want to be in God's will. And we want to always, always lift high the name of Jesus right here from our programming that man will be drawn to God. Yes. And God will be glorified through it. Amen. Amen. Well, let's get on to our slideshow. We have pictures from this last week. We start with Pray 16, uh, which is our live prayer call-in program on Fridays. And right there is the middle of the studio. And uh, Tim Red was the host um, for the uh, program last week. Uh, Pastor Gary Wallace from River of Life Church is the uh, host for the program. And he's went on vacation for a couple of weeks. So... Tim was real um, nice just to, uh, instead of being the co-host, he was going to host. And uh, he asked Minister uh, Bill Mallory from Cathedral of Worship to sit on the set with him and lift up prayers. So I know many of you were blessed by the word they had to share and the prayers they offered. And uh, we thank uh, Minister Mallory for coming and uh, being on with Tim this last week. And now... You're going to see several pictures here. We have been making our own CTN prayer break uh, programs here. We had recorded these uh, a few weeks ago. And then uh, <clears throat> when CTN got the new logo there, you can see in the upper right-hand corner, Enjoy Life and Consider Eternity. Uh, we needed to put the new logos on them. So we did some re-editing on them. And this one is Pastor Tom Rains from the First Southern Baptist Church here in Quincy. And then uh, Pastor Gary Wallace also um, did a spot from River of Life Church here in Quincy. And then we had, oh, I think uh, this is uh, Bob Daly. He is the uh, executive director, I believe is his title, at WGCA. And uh, there's Michael Wartman. Yeah, he's program director, KJIR. I want to thank both of them for being a part of this uh, prayer breaks that we recorded. And then we had Pastor Brandon Mize with Calvary Tabernacle here in Quincy. And you'll be watching these spots. They'll be coming up uh, now that they are finished being edited. You'll see them on the uh, channel 16.1. Amen, amen, and amen. So we've been working on that, and um, 
uh, in the edit room this past week, and we're thankful to have the time and the knowledge and the equipment. We're thankful for all of it. God has been so faithful to us here at WTJR. When I sit and think about uh, 21 years ago, uh, I believe it was 21 years in July that I've been with WTJR, and uh, we had 27 uh, three-quarter inch machines in the master control room, and you had to change the tapes out. Remember those big tapes? <laughs> oh my. And um, with every either half hour or hour program, they had to be switched. And uh, now we are recording programs into the computer and putting them into files. And uh, we're all full HD station, three cameras, our master control is HD. We're a full power. God has really, really blessed us here, and we're thankful. We're so thankful that we can keep moving on and we can do more work, more production, better quality. We can serve our community and uh, help uh, the area uh, churches and outreach ministries to get the word out about their uh, ministry work. And so we can just work together till Jesus returns here. But we always want to keep growing and reaching out into this community and help um, so we can all can all build the kingdom of God together. Now I know over the air, if you have a uh, computer or internet, you can watch WTGR anywhere, anywhere, as long as you've got the internet. And uh, so that's exciting to me also because it used to be, uh, we just had that 60 to 70 mile radius around Quincy that you could watch us over the air. I'm thankful we're on all of the cable stations. We are on DISH channel 32. We are not on DirecTV. Uh, if you're going to go change, uh, you wanna be sure and check into that. They may say the local programs are on their stations, but WTGR is not on DirecTV. And uh, so I just wanna let you know that because I know several, um, have said asked me about that and I said no uh, and we uh, of course we web stream on our computer website wtjr.org we have the CTN app I'll talk about a little bit long, uh, later and on YouTube you can see our local programming so there are many 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 ways to watch WTJR and we are thankful that God has helped us to do that amen amen Okay, let's move on. I'll just talk about the station and the Lord all day long, if you let me. Amen. We got a new update for the transmitter, the tube, $13,746. And we want to thank you for your donations. If you'd like to uh, make a donation for this uh, new tube, just be sure and mark on your check it's for the new tube. <clears throat> WTJR, we have five channels. As you can see there, we have a great variety of programming for all ages. We are your locally supported Christian TV station, and we're an affiliate of CTN, Christian Television Network, out of Clearwater, Florida. And soon we'll be sending out the September 2022 newsletter. And we've been working on getting our um, email list up so you can receive it by email we have several of you that have requested that so we'll be able to send this uh, September newsletter out uh, by email um, you can write us if you would like to receive it by the mail uh, we'll get it in the mail to you there's a phone number there you can email us at tv16 at wtjr.org if you want you can go on our website and the uh, uh, TV schedule for channel 16.1 uh, will be on our website. So there's several ways to be able to get the schedule so you can watch 16.1. So again, just give us a, a call if you'd like to be on either our mailing mail list or email mailing list. You're inviting you to join us for prayer on Mondays at 1 p.m. right here in the studio, 222 North 6th Street. We are located on the second floor. We do have an elevator, and you will have to ring the doorbell. So come and join us and stand in faith as we pray 
for all the things that concern our station, our city, and our nation. Amen. If you need prayer, give us a call here at 217-228-1616. If you happen to get the answering machine, please leave your name and phone number. If you'd like prayer, and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. Pray 16, that is our live call-in prayer show on Friday mornings at 11 a.m. to 12 noon. We do repeat it at uh, on Mondays, I should say, at 9 p.m. Even though it's a repeat, we do have a phone operator. It's also live on our Facebook page, WTJR uh, TV. This coming uh, Friday on the 19th of August, uh, Gary's co-host will be Mike Floyd. And he has had a miraculous healing in his body. And uh, he loves to give God glory for it. And he loves to pray for people for their healing. So be sure and call in your prayer requests and your praise reports. And you can also email praise16 at wtjr.org. You and Me is the national uh, live prayer meeting out of Clearwater, Florida on CTN. You can watch it here on channel 16.1 Monday through Friday at 11:30 p.m. And anytime you have a prayer request, you can call 1-800-716-7729. So winning training, if you are interested in that, give me a call here. We use the soul winning script from the Great Awakening. And the theme scripture is go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature from Mark 16, 15. And you notice that is not a suggestion. That is a command. So as a believer of Jesus Christ, we need to be obedient to what the Lord has asked us to do. Download the CTN app. You can load it on your iPhone, your Android, your tablet, or if you have Roku or Apple TV on your television, you may load, download it onto your television. And you can watch all of the uh, 27, I mean, 20, not 27, 24 affiliate stations. And uh, WTJR is one of them. So be sure and download the CTN app. Friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Uh, we have... Um, Live programming like the Pray 16 uh, on Fridays at 11 a.m. We have Revive America. And uh, it is normally the first Tuesday of the month. At 7 p.m. we have worship followed by a message at 7.30 by Evangelist Robert Newton. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this month's date coming up soon, next week. Also, we have some behind the scenes information. Uh, Jim will put some spots and uh, videos on there from time to time. I'll put a word on there. We just uh, try to keep it fresh and updated. And uh, so we would like you to friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Hometown happenings right here in the tri-state area of Quincy, uh, Illinois. Uh, Hannibal, Missouri, and Keokuk, Iowa. And you see our DMA area there is in the yellow. Like I said earlier, it's 60 to 70 miles out around Quincy. And this week, I want to highlight something that comes right here from WTJR. And that is the Revive America. And it's live at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, August 16th. As I said earlier, we normally... Um, have the live program on the first Tuesday of the month. But because of the tent meeting schedule that uh, Evangelist Newton has in the summer, sometimes there's conflicts. And so this month we had to move it. And so it's on Tuesday, August 16th. I want you to mark that on your calendar. If you would like to join us here in the studio, um, Bob Newton loves to have people in the studio. He loves to pray for people. If you need prayer, come here and be in the studio by 645, because it does start at 7 p.m. Or you can call in during the program for prayer, 217-228-1616. Our worship time will be with Pastor Danny Schluckavir from Quincy Faith Church here in Quincy.
followed by the message at 7.30 with evangelist Robert Newton. So I do want to invite you to come and join us right here in the studio. I invite you to call in for prayer and uh, tell other people about this. It's also live on our Facebook page, WTJR TV at the same time. So again, if you'd help get the word out, we would really appreciate it. That's Revive America, live at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, August 16th. So if you have a church event or an outreach ministry event coming up, please contact us, get us the information. We will put it on Hometown Happenings here on Behind the Scenes, the WTJR Community Calendar on Channel 16.1, and on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. You can also email tv16 at wtjr.org. Amen, amen, amen. And I do really want to invite you to come on the 16th and be here in the studio. Maybe you've never seen the studio. And uh, it's always exciting to watch live TV. We have three cameras operating, and we have uh, camera operators for them. And we have people at the phone answering when people call in for prayer, uh, production staff. and But most of all, to hear that word, um, the um, <clears throat> Lord always gives Bob a special word for that very night. And it's always been so powerful. And real quick, I know our time's going away. I want to share this real quick. Bob just finished a tent uh, meeting in Palmyra, Indiana. And the pastor that had him come as, was host of the tent revival. They have 16 people in their church. So it's just a small church just starting. And um, the tent... Um, they went over 100, then they went over to 170, and then they had 200 people the last night. And they had 46 people that gave their heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I hear, I hear some of you clapping and getting excited out there. I tell you, that's something to get excited about. Souls coming to the kingdom. So this pastor's church grew real quickly during that revival. I pray those people will... Uh, uh, attend the church and they'll grow as a family in the Lord and then they go out and and uh, evangelize their city and more souls one to the kingdom but I had to share that praise report because that makes me really happy amen amen okay let's go to our prayer break spot with Yolanda DeAndrea Morris she is the president of CTN and we've been airing these for several weeks. She made 10 different prayer spots. Today, she's going to be praying for our schools. Here at Christian Television Network, we believe in the power of prayer and the power of agreement. According to Matthew 18, 19, and 20, will you take a prayer break with us right now to pray over our schools and our country? Heavenly Father, we pray for safety in our schools, in every preschool, elementary, high school, and college. We pray against any plan of the enemy to cause destruction in our schools or to bring harm to our children and young adults. We pray against thoughts of suicide in our children, that they would reach out for help and not be trapped in depression or anxiety, and that you would put people in the path of children that need help, that will love them and help them. We pray for correct and moral teaching in our schools. If there is anything that is taught in our schools that does not align with your heart, we pray that it would stop in the name of Jesus, that parents and students would stand up for the truth. We pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. We are standing in faith with uh, Yolanda, praying for our schools. I pray you will continue to pray every day for the students, all of the workers, the bus drivers, the janitors, the supervisors, teachers. There's so many to pray for, but that you would pray for them. Because if we're not praying for them, who is? Nobody. So it's very important we be praying for the children. Amen and amen. CTN and WTJR, as I talked earlier today, uh, we have a new uh, logo, Enjoy Life, Consider Eternity. I pray you have considered eternity because everyone will spend eternity somewhere. And where that is depends on us, whether we receive Jesus as Lord and Savior or if we deny him. So today I want to use the scripture from Acts 22, verse 15 
For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. Acts 22:15. This uh, comes from the story about Saul after he had the conversion on the road to Damascus and became Paul. And the Lord was speaking to him and says, Thou shalt be his witness, the Lord's witness. And to all men, and to everyone you meet, okay? There, uh, don't leave anyone out. To everyone you meet all day long, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you should be a witness. A witness is a person who sees an event, a crime or an, or an accident take place. You have witnessed and experienced with Jesus Christ. So you should turn around and be a witness of Jesus Christ to others. So that means, as Jesus did, we would see love, hope, joy, peace, kindness, long-suffering, gentleness, all those qualities that God and Jesus have, we should let be a witness to others. One of the scriptures that we use in the soul winning here, training, comes from Romans 1, 16. And this is a good uh, scripture that talks about being a witness. And as we go to that, I forgot to mark it, but I'll go to it real quick here. <clears throat> I memorize it, but I want to read it. Make sure I don't miss any of the words that for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek. I'm not ashamed. You know what that means? I'm not confused. I've read the word. I believe it's true. I've had a personal experience with Jesus Christ. And now I can be a witness of that to others. Today, I want to encourage you as a disciple, a follower of Jesus Christ, to be a witness to everyone around you. Share with them what Christ has done in your life. Yes, pray with them and share the Lord with them. And it might be the seed and you might be watering your seed, but the Bible said that God will do the increase. So be that witness, that light for the Lord. Amen? Amen. I wanna go to a video uh, for our bridge today, a uh, portion of Revive America from um, when Evangelist Newton was here back in June. And uh, it's a beautiful spot where he's giving a salvation prayer that's very fitting because he's going to be a witness for Jesus. Watch this. Jesus at the name of Jesus there's power in the name of Jesus there's hope in the name of Jesus I just sense there are those watching right now that you've come to the end of you you have run out of you everything that's you was able to do for you you're out of resources and the Holy Spirit had you tune in to this program because the answer is Jesus for you tonight it's Jesus the word of the Lord says that 
There's no other way to the Father but through the Son. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 2,000 years ago, a baby was born of a virgin, came to this earth, the Son of God. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have eternal life. The Lord gave his life. Jesus died on a cross, became a sacrifice for you and me, broke the curse of sin, gave us hope through the blood of Jesus. And I really sense there are people watching right now that this is your moment in your life to accept Christ as your Savior. This week we have been under the tent here in Quincy and almost every night somebody made that decision to accept Christ as their Savior. And I sense as Sister April was singing about the Lord because whenever you begin to proclaim the name of Jesus, something's going to happen. And I believe for somebody, for several people right now, that thing that's going to happen is your salvation that you're going to come to Christ tonight. You don't have to do any works. It doesn't, you don't have to pay no money. You don't have to make a journey to some make a place or, 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 or find a statue. All you've got to do is get on your knee right where you are, right. bow your head, right. and simply pray. Simply pray. And if you say that prayer, please let us know. Call us here. We want to celebrate with you. If you need a Bible, let us know. We'll get you a Bible, find you a Bible preaching church and become a part of the family God there and your life will change. Well, to close out, our time's about gone. Let's real quickly go through the programs next week, the local programs on A Woman's Joy. You can watch The Joy in Soul Winning, a series, four part series, it'll be part one. Then we have a behind the scenes, a program you're watching right now. There's the times on the screen. We have Christ Video, a half hour music video program produced by Jim Wilson. Then we have Conquering Your Giants with Duke Duvall, living the kind of faith that pleases God. Yes, you wanna watch that. Then we have Pastor Robert Axton exploring God's word on Monday at 9.30 a.m. And then Musical Memories, the beautiful hymns of the church with Martha Reed Garvin. We have Outreach Connection. The guest will be Pastor Kevin Williams talking about a book he wrote, Restricted No More. Pastor Speaks will be Pastor Larry Hines, and the message is The New Creation. The Potter's Wheel with George Osmus right there on Monday evenings at 8.30. We have The Secret Place Ministries with Minister Darlene Holliday, Prayer That Restores the Breach. We have Simple Truth with John Furness, Elijah, part two, and then, of course, the WTJR Classics. Thank you for joining us again today. God is so faithful. May we be found faithful to him. And as I said earlier, be a witness for Jesus Christ. God bless.